Hey, welcome back to Nitpickers Anonymous. My name is John, if you didn't know that already. Today we are doing the one that I've been waiting to do for a while. It's the Brahma, or the Project Rock Duffel. Check that out. I've had this for about a week. No, two and a half weeks now, I think. Maybe even more. And I haven't actually touched it, so we're gonna explore it today. See what's what it's all about what the pockets and stuff do, and how big it actually is. So just before we get started on the bag, I want to make a quick announcement about the t-shirt that I'm wearing. So this is an organic cotton t-shirt and a design that I made myself. I offer a few other designs on my website, flamingofins.com. It's meant to promote sustainable clothing. If you're interested, you can go check it out. I also offer diving mask strap tamers. So if you know what those are, then you might be interested in grabbing some of those. They're made by local artists. At the moment, I'm partnered with a, a specific local artist here, Lisa Michelle Art in Australia, and uh, proceeds go to supporting her as well and any other artists that wanna come on board. So if you're an artist, feel free to um, message me and let me know that you might be interested in a collaboration and um, we can get your art on a mask strap or maybe even a shirt if you want. Oh, and just a bit about my website slash business. It's all about promoting sustainability and ocean awareness as well. So there's a page on there. I wanna be as transparent as possible. There's a page that outlines where your money's going when you purchase from my site. And um, yeah, if you're interested, check it out. Link will be in the description below. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's get onto the bag. Already holding it like a dweeb. I haven't really taken a look at any of this, so we're literally gonna look at it today. Together, we've got the tag. That's useless. Looks like we've got some back straps here, so it sits on your back just as well as it, you can carry it, I suppose. So, back straps, you've even got a clip here to, uh, it, that's metal as well. That's metal, so the metal clip is there to, this is all metal actually. So this is, this is like a quality clip here, um, and that'll keep your straps like connected. I'll put it on so you can see how it looks. So we've got a sturdy strap on the top here. You've got, I think there's another sturdy strap on the side somewhere, yeah, back here. So here, here, and then carry here as well. Anywhere else? My bad, there's a strap on both sides. Strap here, strap here, strap top, and the back carry straps. So this is a padded, like padded area here. This is smooth, and I think this is the laptop sleeve as well. So we can unzip that, the zipper's in the back here. So we open that up. Looks like that comes out like that. So that's, that's a pretty big pocket here. That's a huge pocket. So, yeah. That is the laptop sleeve right there. Right here. Uh, that'll fit. It'll definitely fit my laptop. So my laptop is a 16 inch MacBook Pro 2021, uh, which is the remodeled one, so it's a lot thinner, but and it's a lot shorter on the sides, but thinner, oh, thicker, thicker. So we got some pen slots, uh, another little pouch for something, whatever you want, probably a charging cable for me. Then we got the massive, massive, tub basically of space. Top looks like a dirty bag slot. So let's open that up, check it out. It opens from this side. Oh, it opens to there. So that opens up, dirty bag, deep, deep pocket here. All the way down, you can see where it goes to down there. So all the way down there, it's the end of it. <laughs> um, then, we're gonna literally leave all these pockets open. So we got Project Rock Under Armour on the side here. It's a clip button, snap button. It pops open. I don't really know what you'd put in these. 
maybe, I, I don't know, snacks? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you would put in here. Just like little bits and pieces that you want to fit in there. Um, there's another one on the other side. This says shoe and laundry. So this is a shoe and laundry on the top. It says that. Then we got another pocket on the other side. As I said. Ooh, we're just going to leave it up and whatever. Down below that, we've got a zipper pocket. A long zipper pocket. So. It's got a like a metal o-ring on it to pull. I don't know if you can see that. It's focusing my face, I realize. So you pull that open. What's in here? So that's just a long pocket. I don't know really what would fit in there. It kind of looks like a water bottle slot. I don't know if it actually is, but it could be, it could be. Other side, another of the same, but, oh, whoa. This opens reverse. It has a cool project, PRJC, PRJCT3 here. This zipper opens from the other side, the bottom, the opposite side. So we're just gonna zip it open. So basically the same as the other side again, but this side has a clip area, area, clip area for like a carabiner. It's a sturdy like plastic sort of um, material here. So it'll definitely hold like a clip on there and you hang some stuff, whatever you want. What else do we got? My arm's getting tired. Okay, there's another zip on the bottom. Right there. Let's zip it open, what do we have? I realize this is not the ideal angle to do this, but I don't have a setup, perfect setup for this type of, uh, these type of videos, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> it's kind of like an actual duffel, so if you imagine sitting it like that, like, an, like a duffel, then you have the open pocket that side, then you have another open pocket that side. One's dirty laundry. So it's the same idea as a duffel, except it kind of has like backpack ideas and a laptop sleeve. So it's like it's sort of a reimagined duffel. Then this side's just a simpler, um, much smaller pocket compared to the opposite side. So the opposite side is the dirty laundry one. This is just like basic, I don't know. Imagine going around putting shoes in this side, laptop in here, um, clothes and stuff in the middle if you're traveling, which I'm probably gonna do with this, and then just probably domestically, but, and then put my toiletries and stuff in that side, that's what I'm imagining will happen. Uh, this is not really a gym bag. Don't buy it for a gym, I wouldn't buy this for a gym bag. Um, I do love all the pockets, so it's, I feel like it's a lot better for traveling than gym. There's way too much space here for a gym bag, unless you really, need something that's really really big for a lot of stuff and and you maybe you need a laptop as well then you probably don't need this for um for the gym a much smaller bag would be better like the brahma backpack that i have down there or that other one the hustle pro or storm contender depending on what, what country you live in that's pretty much it for this backpack obviously you've got that brahma on the front i think i showed it before very, very nice looking uh, Brahma. It's it's uh, it's gold, and I'm I'm happy about that. I do like the the gold, like yellowish color mixed with the black. And I think that's it. So, yeah, that's a, that's literally it. But in saying that, that was a lot. There's a lot of pockets and stuff. So in about two months, I'll be traveling domestically. What I'll do is I'll take this bag and test it out as my travel bag. And I will create a video, a progress update video, of this bag and how well it does for traveling. At the moment, I believe it'll do really well for traveling and I think that's probably the best use for this bag. Hopefully I can prove myself right, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching guys and I will catch you in my next one. See ya.